Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can paint with render targets inside of Unreal Engine. To get started, I'm in the first person Unreal Engine project template, and the first thing we're going to do is add a paintbrush to the middle of the screen. This is where the player is going to be aiming and painting their paintbrush. So, to get started, if you just create a new folder called UI, right click and go user interface, select a widget blueprint, select user widget, and just call this the paintbrush underscore widget blueprint. Then if we double click and open this up, we want to go over to the palette and look for canvas panel and just drag this somewhere into the screen. Then we want to look for an image and again just drag this somewhere inside of the screen. For the image, make sure to anchor to the center of the screen. Then for the position X and position Y, make it minus 5. And then for the size X and size Y, make them 10. And this will make it so this image is directly in the middle of the screen. And this is going to be where my player aims their paintbrush. We just want to compile and save this. Then head over to your first person character or your character and go to event begin play. So when we begin play, we are going to create a widget. And that widget is going to be the paintbrush that we just made. Then we just want to add this to the viewport. We can compile and save this. The next thing we're going to do is create the materials that my player is going to be painting with. So if we just go over to a folder called materials, if you don't have one, just create one. And then to create our first material, we just want to right click, go material, and just call this canvas. So this is going to be the material that so this is going to be the material that the player is going to paint on. We just want to double click and head inside here. Right click and look for constant. And just connect this into metallic and specular. And then for the base color of this, we just want to right click and look for texture sample 2D. So this one, texture sample parameter 2D. And just call this the render target. Keep note of whatever you call this and just connect from RGB into base color and go apply. So this is, yeah, like I said, this is going to be the background of our canvas. We can just close this. Then we just want to right click, go create new material and just call this the brush underscore matte. So this is what we're going to be painting our canvas panel with. Head inside here and we just want to change the blend mode to translucent. Then we just want to right click and look for texture, sample, parameter, 2D again. And we just want to call this the brush texture. And we just want to connect from RGB into emissive color and from A into opacity and just go apply. And then later we're going to configure this so we can replace this with our own custom brush texture. We can close this. The next thing we're going to do is create a blueprint and this is going to be the canvas which the player is going to paint on. So I'm actually just going to create a new folder and just call this blueprints. I'll head inside here, right click, go blueprint class, select actor and I'm just going to call this my canvas underscore blueprint. Head inside here. Then if you go over to the components tab and go add and look for a static mesh and just call this the canvas. So this mesh is going to be the mesh that we paint upon. And if you briefly close Unreal Engine and just go over to settings, just make sure to go to show engine content. Then if we head back to the canvas panel blueprint, under static mesh, we should be able to look for plane. And we just want to look for this plane. This isn't um, enabled if we don't have the show engine content. We won't be able to find it, so that's why we did that. And we just want to rotate it so it's forward. And then make sure this anchor is um, checked. And then just scale this up because it's a bit small. So I make it 2.5. So this is going to be the target which we paint upon. We just want to compile this. Then if we go over to the event graph, we're going to make it so it uses the materials that we set up earlier. So event begin play. We just want to drag off here and look for sequence. And the first thing we're going to do is just drag off here and look for create render target 2D. So this is what we're going to be painting upon. And for the width and height, we want this to have a resolution of 1024. And then we just want to right click and permit this to arrival and just call this render target. 
then we just want to drag off here and look for clear render target 2D and then this clear color is going to be the initial starting color of our canvas panel I'm going to make it white but feel free to make it any color so after we do this we're going to tell the game that we want our canvas um, model to basically use this um, material so to do that we can just drag off here and look for create dynamic material instance so this one and for the parent we want it to be the canvas material that we made earlier we just want to drag off this return value and look for set texture parameter value and for the parameter name we want it to be the same as um, this so we call this render target so make sure it's spelled the same so I'm just going to type in render target and then here for the value what we're going to be changing we just want to drag in the render target variable that we just made get it and then connect this into here then in order to make the canvas use this material we can just drag in the canvas panel drag off here and look for set material and connect this into here and then for the material we can just connect from the return value here into here and I'm just going to double click to make this a bit tidier then there's one final step and that is going to be creating the brush material so we just add another pin and just drag off here and look for create dynamic material instance and for the material it's going to be the brush material and we just want to right click and promote this to a variable and just call this the brush material so now that we've set this up we're going to set up a function which will allow our player character to paint with the brush onto the canvas panel so to do that if we just create a new function and just call this the draw brush and this is going to have a couple of settings so that we can customize how the brush is so if we just go create a new input and for this first input call it brush texture so this is going to be the material that we're going to be painting with we just want to change this to be a texture 2d so this one texture 2d object reference then we want to create another material and just call this the brush size so this is going to be the size of our brush and we want this to be a float and then we just want to create another variable and we just want to call this draw location and this is going to be where on our canvas panel that we're going to be painting we just want to change this to be a vector 2d so this one okay so now that we've set this up when we draw with our brush the first thing we're going to do is look for sequence and set our brush material so if we just find our brush material that we created earlier get it drag off here and look for set texture parameter value connect this into here and for the parameter name make sure it's called brush texture or whatever you call it here so parameter name is going to be brush texture and then the value we can just connect from brush texture into here we're going to be able to customize what we put in here then the next thing to do is make it so we can paint on our canvas with our brush so if we just drag in our render target get it and then we just want to drag off here and look for begin draw canvas to render target and connect this into here then we just want to drag off here and look for draw material and this will allow us to start painting on our canvas panel we want to connect from canvas into target as that's what we're going to be painting upon for the render material we just want to drag in the brush material this is what we're going to be painting onto our canvas and then for the screen position this is going to be where in the world we're going to be painting upon our canvas we need to do a bit of calculation to determine this so we just want to drag off size and look for multiply and then we want to drag in the draw location so we can reference variables inside of our functions by just right clicking and if I look for draw location I can connect this into here then we don't want to drag off here and look for subtract and right click here and go to float so the reason we have to do this little calculation is if I just go to my viewport by default Unreal Engine will start to draw materials using the top left as the origin point so this will lead to the brush texture not coming from the center so we need to just kind of do this to fix this and we just want to drag off here and look for divide and we want to divide this by two 
and what we're going to be dividing, we just want to right click and look for get brush size and connect this into here and then this to screen position. For the screen size, we can just right click here and look for split structure pin and connect from brush size X and brush size Y into here. And then finally, we just want to drag off context and look for end draw canvas to render target and that will make it so we can start painting with our brush. We can compile this and go over to the link graph. So with this we have coded everything. The final thing we need to do is make it so the player character can draw onto this. So if I just close this and go over to the input folder, we want to go over to actions and we're going to create a new input action for painting. So if I just right click and go input, select input action, and I'm just going to call this my input action underscore paint. Open this up and for the value type, we want this to be an axis 1D float. And we just want to go over to your input mapping context, open this up, and you want to add a new mapping. And this is going to be for the painting action. So I'm just going to look for the input action paint. And I'm going to make it so the player has to press the left mouse button in order to paint. So here, if you just look for left mouse button and just select, or you can assign whatever key you want it to be. We can save this, close this and then go over to our first person character blueprint then in some free space we want to look for the paint input action so a quick note about the paint input action this will only appear if your character is using the correct input mapping context i'm just using the default first person character so it's using this one but if you're using your own custom input setting then it may be slightly different Okay, so when the player presses the left mouse button, this action value is going to have a value of 1. We want to make sure that the player is continuously holding down the left mouse button in order to paint. So if we just drag off this action value and look for equals, whenever the player is holding down the left mouse button, this action value is going to be 1. So as long as this is equal to 1, we're going to have a branch, connect from triggered into here. Then we're going to do a line trace to see if there's a canvas panel in front of us and if there is then we're going to paint on it so if i just drag off here i look for line trace by channel where this is going to start we can just right click and look for get player camera manager and just drag off this return value and look for get actor location and connect this into the start then if we just drag off the get player camera manager and we want to look for get actor forward vector so we'll get the forward direction of our player character's camera then we just want to multiply this so for the multiply right click on this one and convert it to a float and let's multiply it by 1500 units then just drag off this get actor location and look for add and connect this into here so we'll be ending our line trace 1500 units in front of the player character then we just want to drag off this r hit result this will get the data of whatever we hit we just want to look for break hit result click this arrow and we're going to check to see if we hit the canvas panel blueprint so i'm going to drag off hit actor and look for cast to canvas panel bp if we did hit the canvas panel then this node will fire and what we're going to do is draw on our canvas panel so if we just drag off this canvas BP and look for draw brush. So for the texture that we're going to be drawing with our canvas panel, I imported this texture of this black square. So I just found this online. You can use any texture. When you import a texture into Unreal Engine, sometimes it looks a bit weird. So if you just right click on it and go spray actions and apply paper to the texture settings, that'll make the image look all normal. So I'm going to promote this to a variable compile this and then I'm going to select my black texture so it can just be a solid black texture for the brush size this is going to be the size of your brush I'm going to right click print this to a variable and compile this and make it 50 the bigger this is the bigger your brush is going to be then for the draw location where this is going to paint on our canvas panel we can just drag off this R hit result and look for find collision UV and connect this into here 
And then one final important step, make sure that you have trace complex enabled. Make sure that this is checked, compile and save everything. Then you just want to go to edit project settings and make sure to look for support. So sorry, you want to look for support UV from hit results. Make sure that this is enabled. So when you enable it, it's going to ask you to restart to have this setting enabled. Just do that. I'm just going to restart mine again and save everything. Okay, so that is almost everything. If we just go to our blueprints folder, drag in the canvas panel, and I'm just going to rotate it so it's in front of me. When I click play, my canvas panel should be white. And when I click with my left mouse button, okay. So what I'm going to actually do is go back to my first person character and increase the um, value here. Oh, sorry, I made it 150. I meant to make 1,500. That's why it's so short. Okay, so now if I go play, I have this whiteboard which I can paint with. So I just drew a smiley face. I can draw anything. And this can just be a cool little feature that you can add to your game. So with this, we've added a simple whiteboard which we can paint on. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.